NBC TV 18, while BL ended their FY23 on a strong note by meeting their both revenue and margin guidance. Uh, my colleague Vivek Ayer, he caught up with the uh, with the MD, uh, the chairman and the MD of the company, Mr. Bhanu Prakash Srivastava, and began by asking him about the company's robust performance in quarter four. Listen in to what he had to say. We met all the three three guidance. If you see that uh, revenue guidance, order booking, and uh, margin also. So if you see uh, revenue, we were right on the target. Uh, so there was no issue in meeting the revenue guidance. As far as margins were concerned, yes, uh, by end of the Q3, uh, our EBITDA was around 20.5%. And we were able to uh, reach our uh, guidance of 21-23%. We ended up with 23.35% of EBITDA. Major reason is that uh, in Q4, we had a product mix which had uh, lower uh, material consumption. So if you see that our total material consumption, uh, it has gone down from 60% to around 58% in uh, year 2022-23 as compared to uh, previous year. So that has helped us in maintaining uh, our margins. Another thing was that uh, fixed expenses, they got spread over larger uh, revenue base. As far as order booking is concerned, I had always been telling that in uh, defense uh, order booking, it is not one day game. So we have been working for the last few years, uh, especially last year. So all they ended up in uh, uh, getting the order in the month of March. We were very confident that we will be able to achieve this and we, we achieved that. So now, uh, you know, FY23 ended on a very strong note. How has FY24 yes. started? So what are the order inflows that we've seen in Q1 so far? And if you could share, you know, the guidance that you have for FY24, you know, in, across order inflows, the revenue, as well as the margin guidance, sir. Again, order inflow uh, in, uh, see, April, we, we booked a small amount of order, which, which were at last stage, but uh, could not be signed in the last week of March. So around 1,000 crore plus. But uh, our guidance for order booking is again uh, seeing that uh, various uh, that, uh, processes and where uh, defense revenue is coming, order is coming. Uh, 20,000 crore plus order booking, definitely it will come in this financial year. Revenue guidance we are giving around uh, in the range of 17% uh, uh, growth. That will uh, make us cross a figure of uh, 20,000 crore in turnover. As far as uh, margins are concerned, EBITDA margin we again maintain because our product mix remains same. So in the range of 21 to 23%. So, so 21 to 23% is the kind of margin guidance you're giving and a 17% revenue guidance. So now what we want to understand is in FY24, you know, how is the export order book looking? You know, what kind of opportunities are you seeing there? And especially, you know, the other thing that markets keenly want to know is how much are you looking to invest as far as R&D is concerned? And lastly, sir, different indigenization has proven to be a very strong theme as far as, you know, order booking is concerned within India. So give us a sense of the, you know, the domestic versus the export market and the kind of order book you see there, sir. See, uh, exports, we are, we are working on uh, exporting our product to our neighboring and friendly countries where India has got a strategic interest and good relations. So that is one part of export. Another part of export is that we are working with uh, global players where they have offset obligations and we are supplying high-tech uh, items to them to meet their offset obligations. So this is the two, two-pronged approach for our exports. Last year, we did exports of around $48 million. This year, we target to cross around uh, 90 to 100 million dollars in this year. We are working on that. We target to uh, get around uh, 200 to 250 million dollars of export order this year. So we are working on that. Uh, that is on export front. If you see R&D expenses, uh, we have been spending around 7% uh, of our uh, turnover on R&D. Last year, because our revenue base grew, uh, uh, we spent around 6.25 percent that is in absolute term if you see around 1080 uh, crore we spent on r d this year we spent to uh, we we target to increase the expenditure on r d to um, around 1200 to 1300 crores so uh, roughly it will be reaching again closer to seven percent of our uh, revenue as far as indigenization concerned, yes, uh, Government of India's policy of Atmanirbhar 
is really helping. They are promoting indigenous uh, manufacturing uh, of the products, indigenous uh, supply of indigenous equipments. And you are aware government has come with the positive indigenization list, uh, four positive indigenization list where they have specified the various products which has to be procured from indigenous sources. So that also is helping. And our focus on R&D customization, working with DRDO lab, working on our own indigenous product also is helping uh, in our uh, business growth. So allow us to delve a little bit more as far as the order book yeah. is concerned. Now delving into the order book, now we want to understand the proportion of larger orders. So we want to understand, you know, where does, you know, the quick reaction surface to air missile, you know, what is the kind of ordering activity you're seeing there, even the medium range surface to air missile. And the other thing that we want to know is, uh, you know, you have quite a few JVs lined up as well, you know, that were announced uh, over the course of last year. So we want to understand, you know, what is the kind of revenue opportunity you're seeing from these types, sir? See, quick reaction uh, surface to uh, air missile QRSAM, uh, confirmatory trial was supposed to be done. That has happened and uh, it has done well. It, uh, it was successful. Now a small uh, ECCM check is required to be done, which will which will be done next month. So after that, uh, defense services has to have to take that uh, AON and they have to process. QRSAM being a big ticket item, I expect that it will take some time before um, order is uh, realized. So that is one. Uh, so what when we are telling that uh, our guidance of uh, order booking of 20,000 crores, I have not factored uh, anything from QRSAM because it's a very big ticket item. So uh, it may come, it may not come this year, but definitely it is on. So uh, similarly, same is the case of MRSAM. There are various, uh, uh, if you see that, uh, um, uh, variants of MRSAM which uh, services are envisaging. So, uh, uh, but uh, progress, it will take time to time to progress. So these big ticket items, they are there and they will come, but uh, maybe fag end of this year or maybe in uh, next year, 24, 25, there will be uh, visibility and they will come. So what uh, we are projecting in uh, 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 this financial year, where significant progress has already been done, and the uh, order acquisition is in process. So, so what we understand is for both QRSAM as well as MRSAM, you have not factored any orders coming in as far as FI24 concerned. If it happens, it will be a positive surprise to the market. So, so talk to us a little bit about FI24. We understand that you know there has already been some activity that has happened in terms of EVM as well as the VVPAT opportunity. We also understand you know some orders are in the pipeline from Airbus as well as the Atulia radar order. So what is the opportunity that you're seeing there? And we also want to understand the kind of capex you've lined up as far as FI24 is concerned. Uh, see, the same thing is there with Atulia also. Um, all trials have been completed and now um, Army has to take a call. They have to start the procurement process. So <clears throat> this also, uh, they have to decide how many radars they want and uh, what will be the time frame and how they process. So that is one thing. As far as EVM is concerned, it is a time-bound program where we have to supply all the EVMs required to election commission by August. Right, so that's some uh, conversation coming in with the management of BEL. We take a short break, come back on the other side, we focus on the commodities arena. Manisha Gupta is always joining in.